Welcome to the Dub C and CJ Mack Show, and I am Dub C. And once again, I am CJ Mack. What's happening, man? What's up, C Mack? I'm good, bro, bro, man. Just ready to get it in, man. Once again, today we got our guest, special guest DJ, Las Vegas song DJ Slim. What up, Slim? Yes, what up, sir. Slim? What's happening? What's happening with it, man? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting ready to go, man. So what are we hey, talking about today? I mean, before we start off, dude, you got to pay your respects. Okay. You got to check in. I got to check in. You got to check in. I got to check in with who? You got to check in. You know, you got to check in. With who? South Central Los Angeles. Oh, you talking about dude over there off the Crenshaw District over yeah, there? Yeah, the way. Crenshaw District, man. Y'all always, man, God damn, yeah, Crenshaw District. Yeah. Y'all do it big, man. Uh, Much love and respect. <laughs> you know it. So anyway, you, you, you say that again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Crenshaw y'all, District, right? I remember the nigga's usual. <laughs> nah, it's all good. That's right. So I want to bring a special guest in, my friend, man, Who my own boy, Pop, and all man. that, man. Who? The Big U, man. Big U, man. Big U, what I'm to do. Big U, what's up, man? Welcome to the show. Neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> We What's got that real. Oh. We got that real in the building. Yeah, you know what they gonna say about this show right here? It's them, it's them, yeah. them guys right there. There they go. Man, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? There they go. Yeah, man. So thank you for coming to the show, man, and coming out here, uh, spend a little bit of time with us. You know, we had a little outing last night. You know, we did a little <laughs> bit of bowling. We tried to do something unusual, different. Went to do a little bowling. Uh huh. How'd that turn out for you? Regular. regular. What do you mean regular? Regular. I won. You won <laughs> a regular, you like you know me. That's what I do. You know why, right? We don't want you Rick Rosses, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we you know, all you know, Rick Ross you know, came to an interview, do an interview, and then he shut. Because you know you started you know, off slow. We want to make sure we want to make sure you didn't leave that you came back. Oh, y'all let me win. Yeah, yeah I kind of took off on you. Win, you didn't, you didn't see the game. You know, you I kind of took off on you real early, and I said, "Man, this dude ain't even got a hundred. Let me slow down a little bit." You know what I'm saying? Before he don't want to do that. <laughs> he did that. I did. He did he that. Got hot. He, he followed his that. way. He, he got, got hot. hot. I thought we was gonna play a couple of games. <laughs> Me too. But you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know to get the stroke. So you know what? As a matter of fact, real quick before we get deep into the show, huh? we're gonna show y'all some clips from last <laughs> night. Hey, this shit is edited, man. I don't care what nobody we say. We some clips from last just... night. So we be right. Y'all tell us y'all think. Y'all tell you who y'all think was the real winner. Did I throw the game or not? CJ, CJ. CJ, 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 CJ. Oh! Thank you very much. My name Big U is one after the head pin. He's oh! That's it. On the game. <laughs> I'm going to show tomorrow. Yeah, we let him win. We let him win. We don't want him to, you know what I'm saying, to say, fuck y'all, go home. Hey, look, CJ. All right, so as y'all can see, my form was, you know what I mean, good. Wasn't good enough. He won. Dub, you was runner up or something like that. Runner, ain't hey, something like that. You was probably like third, fourth place. I heard the owner. I heard the owner of the boating club was from Sixties, straight up. <laughs> I, I, that's what I heard. I, I, I don't know. You know, what I'm is that what it was? That's what it was. Man. So you was changing the score? Yeah, y'all won. You oh, know, it yeah, is okay, what it well, is. You know how it goes. What it is? <laughs> Dub was actually fifth place. <laughs> He's around fifth. It was fifth place. <laughs> yeah, behind, was. in front of the sister. <laughs> yeah, he was in front of the sister that was there bowling. Hey man, look. <laughs> It's two against one. Y'all believe that? It's yeah. two against one. Y'all believe that? Yeah, well, we we can run back another clip. Nah, we ain't gonna play no more clips, man. All right, man. That's, about, <laughs> it's showing about bowling, man. I know. Let's get into the show, man. So, you know, I brought you here, man. First of all, because I'm extremely <laughs> proud of you, man, and the transition and the different things that uh you're doing, which we're gonna get into. But the first thing I wanna ask you is this. I'll be seeing a whole lot of stuff, man, that I ain't used to see it, you know, on this internet, man. Like, you know, how, how are you dealing with you know, celebrity 
status and versus street fame. You already had street fame, but it's a different type of thing. Now you open season. Right. Welcome to the, the weirdo. internet. Welcome. I just seen a couple people weirdo. say they want to take a fade with you. Yeah. you know, Welcome. You know what I mean? All kind Welcome. Of, you know what I mean? So how are you dealing Welcome. with that, man? Man, it's crazy because I remember when um when I came home and I and I got into the management, I used to have to coach the people I was dealing with, man, you gotta just take that. That come with the that come with the territory. <laughs> now I be trying to have people find out where dudes at. Where they, you know, like, where we gonna catch this dude at? And then I gotta go Ooh. on Larry to find out the same dudes are talking all the shit. Yeah. It's the same ones as volunteer and tell you, I'm gonna call the police. Ooh. So then I mean I'm like, okay, I get it. Cause they, the they'll talk crazy about me and to me, but then in the next interview they're talking about how they gonna call the police. Yeah. When they get seen. Yeah. One or two of them will just take that case. Yeah. Yeah. I aim to break a jaw. I ain't gonna tell a lot. Um I mean no, it's you know, um, I didn't have to take y'all, I didn't have to talk y'all off the ledge a couple yeah. of nights myself. For real. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, nah, man, this how I go, man. It ain't you know worth it, man. Saying? But see, it he used to be it, that for me. When I first got into the game, right, you know, I came from the streets where you pay for your word with your ass, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then it, and when I got into the entertainment business, like, you can just say anything. People just say anything to you to do anything, and you, and, and you, expect, it, you expect it not to do nothing, or... Just like that, they're going to call the police on you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or, or, or smut you to where you can't really really get your career on, on on like you're supposed to be just because you following the rules which you was taught. Talk. And well, it's supposed game. to be streets. This rap thing supposed to be street. we got different rules. Exactly. We got, we got different rules. Yeah. So, well, so, so you, you handling it or you, what are you doing? To be honest with you, I don't really think I'm handling it because I'll be plotting. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. be honest yeah. with you. Message. Right. Yeah. I'll be plotting. Yeah. yeah. I wait. Yeah. I feel like everybody had their time. Right. And if you come to climb up the tree to mess with the biggest dog, you gotta figure eventually somebody gonna let me know where it's at. And yeah. it may be three years from now when yeah. you forgot about the internet. Oh right. yeah. And then yeah. and then what dudes don't understand is I don't have to pay to get stuff done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people just love me, they don't like the disrespect that you're doing. So mm. so so that's something I wanted to ask you too. Yeah. So you've been feared, and now I see it all over the place. Uh, business. Yeah. Uh, the entertainment industry. A lot of people love you now. You know what I'm saying? And they're getting to meet you. You you allowing people to know. In my eyes, it seems like you're allowing people to get to know you versus right. you know just the image or the character. That some people, you, you your name was a myth for years. A lot right. of people didn't even know what you did. You they they probably did so many like. things that you didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's better, fear or love? Well, me? I think it's love because it's fear and love. The, the 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 love is that, you know, when you love somebody, you fear losing them. Hmm. Okay. And you fear losing the contact of fearing what that person can bring to your life. Fear in itself means that eventually I got to get rid of you. Eventually, I'm wanting you to lose lose, lose lose your spot or get out of my way or whatever have you. But love is something that people want to maintain. So I, I'm not the kind of person who, like, I'm not the person who's not sitting around saying fuck what they're saying. I kind of try to do right by people hmm. to be honored and honor other people. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't roll with the stick like, you know, fuck what somebody's saying or whatever. You, right. I kind of, I do right. Right. I try to do right every moment. All right, so with that being said, what you're doing right and people really not knowing you, are people genuinely, like, shocked when they see the work that you are doing right now in the community? Are they are they shocked or are they no, like... No, you know, it's funny because I've been doing what I'm doing for 18 years, right? Right. I've been on 18 years. Right. And let's just be honest, I follow CJ Mac, mm -hmm. Big D, F Bone, um, but some of my homies who was already doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So when I came home, there was already a blueprint. I just followed the blueprint and stuck with it and, 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 and went to a different level with it and doing it for a lot of people. But to be honest with you, CJ Mackin was the ones I was getting the calls from because they was really coaching my sons while I was gone. Mm. And uh, my older son played with CJ Mackin's yeah. son. Mm -hmm. And then um, um, F Bone them was coaching. Um, Al, Alan Long gave me my start in this because I was with Al first. So it was a lot of steps that led me in the right direction. And and so really I followed that. But it wasn't until like of late that people start to recognize the work. the work that I've been doing 
So I think that's what's changed. Right. N not my work. And mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I had to bring up incident when when the um, when the sister got killed uh -huh. uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, Clarence Clarence Avon's right. wife. Yes. Right. Uh, right. Praise I me. Mean, um, blessings be on her and the family. Right. I got a lot of calls from a lot of brothers who was like shocked and in emotion, and they're like, "LA is going crazy. It's the purge," and I reversed it because like, I mean, you what we gonna do? And I'm like, I feel offended for my community because it's always been years where we could have used help. Hmm. Right. And and I've been doing this for 18 years. Right. Don't call me after 18 years and say, what, man, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And we got a lot of kids out here right. and a lot of young men and a lot of girls who need help and who still need help. Right. Because if we reach one and teach one, Come on now. then at the same time, they don't become the people that's robbing us, right. breaking in our right. houses and drug addicts right. and all this stuff. Right. But we neglected that. Yeah. We become athletes, we get rich, we, and we start giving our money to these different programs that does not reflect us. Mm. I don't have a problem with somebody giving money to cancer programs and all that, but cancer don't kill more black men in our streets. Come mm. on now. It's gun violence. Wow. Speak I on. don't have a problem with you giving stuff and honoring these other programs, but we dying from something other than that. We dying rapidly. Right. We dying, we got boys dying four or five times a day. Some, Most of them innocent. Innocent. And then they dying, right? We got people being shot. We dying from gun violence. I took that and I turned it on them. Like, look, bro, one of the babies who's out here robbing right now, we see robbing at Boston over. Mm -hmm. We see robbing in all these different places. Mm -hmm. Those are babies who could have been caught right. and taught something else. I got to beg dudes to make donations. Mm -hmm. If I ask dudes to make donations to my organization right now, they'll think I'm pressuring them. Right. Somehow, Big, you call me for a donation. Right. If I don't right. give it to right. him, right. 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 Or yeah. Big, you. And then if somebody do donate to me, somebody else going to say, oh, he's scared of Big, you. Yeah, he paying big. Mark them out. He, he, yeah, he. So it's, it's, it's. Without coming down to really see the work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, well, so I want to say this: the name of his organization is called Developing Options, mm -hmm. correct? And and what exactly are you doing with Developing Options? At this point, we're doing so many different things. We got, we have uh, gang intervention. We do um, um, homeless re, re, homeless repair. Or, Trying to get the homeless off the streets. That's really big. We do big um, um we do um reunification with families because what people don't know, the Crenshaw Crenshaw district is overwhelmingly sixty percent or up to forty, sixty percent foster care. Wow. With, with, with kids not living with their original uh, birth parents. Right. Mm. And it's somewhere in the foster system. So we do that. We do um after school we have an after school program which has been shut down kind of since COVID. Mm -hmm. But we still do the um, the uh, safe passage. That's big when we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, so, what is the safe passage? Safe passage. Is, I have contracts with um, Horseman Crenshaw. Um, we just took on Viewport, and it comes to school. We helping kids get from school and to school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we wish our net could be bigger, but it's not. And so we have people who are in front of Crenshaw to try to stop kids that come up there and then in front of View Park and so forth. We do it with different, it's different programs throughout L.A. that also do what we do. And we, so we try to stay linked to knowing when it may be a B for a group of kids might be going to wow. Crenshaw to That's take off man. or I love going that. to Inglewood. That's dangerous. Yeah. 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 It's dangerous and it's very dangerous and it's even more dangerous than people um, can recognize because we got people like myself and other people who work for me who are actually on the front lines in front of these schools, and these kids are coming because of internet beefs. So we find wow. in our studies that a lot of things that happen now is really, it starts like maybe Wednesday, Thursday, and it goes through the week, mm. through the week. And where you may, one kid now is to the one kid can laugh at another kid's post and say his shoes are raggedy or you didn't you didn't do the dance move right, and that turns into a beef. Wow. And then that mm. turns into a beef at school. Right. And then that turns somebody coming to catch somebody at school. Right. And now that goes into one kid having a fight with another kid, and then the parent finding out and they from different sets and then now they meeting at the school right or they no this it, 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 it gets violent real bad and it gets yeah because of social media it gets violent real Be fast right. because of social right. media and that's one of the reasons why me and CJ wanted wanted to create the dub C and CJ Max show mm -hmm. you know and um we've been knowing each other for the longest and been riding with each other and we know that we can get on there and do some ignorant shit 
we get on there and go crazy, have people on there just arguing, going back and forth and getting down. I mean, I know the clickbait game. You know, I know how it goes. But I wanted to show a real side of the individuals out here that a lot of people sometimes have the wrong the wrong view of. And that's one of the reasons why we want to have you on the show. I called you up a long time ago and I told you, I said, man, I, I see what's going on. And you was like, what? I don't know if you remember. I said, man, who working your social media for? You said, Dub, I ain't lying. People be sending me the stuff. People be sending me stuff. I said, that ain't you on there. You said, it's me. People be sending it to me. I said, I'm proud of you because I know, I know of you and I know what you've been through and I got a chance to meet you when you first touched down mm -hmm. and you came in and we was chopping it up and I got a chance to not just, you know, to learn, you know, what kind of individual visual you are, but also too, I got a chance to, you know, to see, not hear the actions, see the, the transition that was made from where you were at to where you at right now. So I called you up and I said, man, I'm proud of you, dude. And then CJ got at me the other day and was like, man, my, I'm getting proud. I'm proud of my homeboy. And I said, who? And he told me and I said, let's do it. You know, and bringing that, and the reason I went there right quick was because you talk about social media. Social media right now, it's unfortunate that the social media is a tool that's used not just to help us, I mean, to, to hurt us, but also, too, that's a tool that's 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 used to control us. Mm -hmm. It's used to control us. You know, we want to get on the social media. We always say that, well, this social media is something that we can use to make life so convenient for us. We can get on it. We can talk to our people across the world. We can buy things. We can do this. We can do that. But I don't know if it's a conspiracy or not that when it comes to our own, it's fucked up because we can get on social media and we can say something that the powers that be don't like and they're going to flag it and take it down. But when it's beefs or people, you know, people all day. killing each Run other it. or whatever, it's yeah. all day. <clears throat> I it. commend you for stepping yeah. in. And one thing that me and CJ Mack took a vow to do was with this show right here was to use our platform. That's the way we're giving back. Mm -hmm. Use our platform to showcase you know, individuals out there such as yourself that's making it happen. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, so. I call them and I tell them, man, I, you know, just out the blue, I call yeah. them. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Because sometimes, you know, he don't get them calls a lot, I bet you. No, 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 You know no, what I'm no, saying? No, no, because no, we no. in this big old macho tough, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. world we yeah. grew up I in. Mean, so. so look, somebody would tell you, I mean, you kissing up to that nigga. Tell him that he tough. But no, I don't know. I don't right, do it. I don't. Right. I don't. I don't. I, I, but, don't even, but, I don't even hang with him. But 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But but I don't give a fuck. I'm doing it in front of the whole world right here. Yeah yeah. Right here, right here, and right now. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give you yours while you're here and let you know that we're proud of the transition. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're proud of you know looking at where you was fr where you came from and where you at right now as a man. Mm hmm. No, As a man, you know, and what you're doing for these babies out here, you know. Now, you can go left tomorrow, and, you know, a nigga be like, <laughs> my nigga done lost it. But right, so look, before I don't we see go it. any farther, get all sentimental, because yeah. you look like you finna start crying and shit. Nah, I ain't about DJ to start crying, Slim, man. DJ Slim, takes to the break. <laughs> 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 Later, fly, let's play, man. Later, fly, let's play, man.